My name is Molly Tennyson, and I am playing Lysistrata. So Lysistrata is this woman who is basically just kind of fed up with the way things are going in her town. Don't you all miss the fathers of your little ones? Your husbands who have gone away to war? I'm sure you all have husbands in the armies far away from home. And no one is really taking any steps in the necessary direction to stop it. So she comes up with a plan that she feels like is going to get all of the men, all get their attention. Then we must abstain utterly from the prick. <sighs> Where are you off to now? I think this show is really relevant. I feel like even though it is such a classical and old production, it parallels in our day and age so well. And I feel like it's really going to be relatable to a lot of the audience members. No need to cry at all. I'm mean, coming out on my own free will. And what use are bars? It's been molten bars that we need so much as brains. <laughs> really, you dirty sluts. <laughs> My name is Devin Pong Savan, and I play the Commissioner of Public Safety. Um, my role is to uh, just kind of fight the women, uh, trying to get back into the Parthenon, which is basically our bank, uh, because I need to get some stuff from there, and they're keeping me from doing my job. I, as a commissioner, have made a deal to fit the fleet or they need the money now. I am locked out by these women from the very gates. Uh, but it's no use just standing here. Bring on the bar so I can put these women in their proper place. The most challenging aspect of the show would be to just get around all the sex jokes. Last night, my wife was dancing when the peg that bolts the catch fell from its pole. Uh, just trying to know they're there, but also you need to incorporate in your line as well as make sure that it's just kind of also hidden at the same time. <laughs> That woman has murdered me, she has. <laughs> oh, got me skin and gone away. What shall I do? Who shall I screw? Hello, my name is Randall Marks, and I play Canisius, which is Mirhene's husband. Oh, forget about the treaty. <laughs> You're going to go peace. I'll consider it. What I like the most about my character is that he is really outgoing. He can do pretty much anything that he wants. Don't be absurd. Not, not right before the child. <laughs> of course not before the child. Mary, carry it back home. Well, my name is Sasha Gedrasak. This is my final semester. I am a senior. Um, I am playing the lead of the female chorus. Be still. What was that noise? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious! Look, 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 any good religious men have, have ever done what they did! Yeah. Oh! The show is basically one big sex joke. Um, it is effectively about the Peloponnesian War and how Athens, Sparta, all the major cities in Greece are warring against one another and the women decide to rally together to bring the men home by withholding sex from them. If you hadn't hurt my feelings, I wouldn't have made a fuss. I would even have removed that, that little beast that's in your eye. Oh, oh, that's what's been bothering. Well, uh, won't you rake the beast out? I mean, you know, it, it's the same jokes that you would see in a modern comedy. We are trying to make amends, but we're still not ready to concede that we've both made mistakes. So we try to make up, and then we argue more, and we try to make up, and we argue more, and it, it's just delightful to watch. <laughs> I think the show is accessible to today's audiences because it's so universal. I think there are shows that are written that are, are not, they're very topical. You know, it's like if you take if you take it out of 1980, it doesn't mean anything because it was written to be performed in 1980, but I think this is a show that's just about people. And so it could be performed 
and it has been performed for the last 2400 years constantly and so i think that universality helps a lot because you're not telling a story necessarily about greece you're telling a story about how people behave <laughs> Themes in the play, uh, like uh, war and feminism, and that are, are still pretty alive after 2400 years, we seem to be not too much evolved to say, oh, that's part of the past, we, we are over all those things. <laughs> and when doesn't happen that war and peace are a bit matter for women to mention. I'll gladly explain it. And be quick or else you'll be howling. Oh, oh no, just pay attention and try to keep your hands to yourself if you can. Oh. It's the first time a student has directed a main stage show. Uh, we've had student directors before, but they've always had second season shows. And they've had much smaller budgets, much smaller casts. Still, you know, still part of our, what we exhibit each season, but not part of the season of entertainment, not part of the, the big university uh, arts culture, just part of the program. And so this is new in that we are giving a student director a chance to direct on the main stage as part of the season of entertainment. But he's a directing major. And so it's necessary in order to pursue this as a career. He's got to have a line on his resume that says, I've directed a full length production before. There's the right kind of instinct. Uh, don't let that pause go too long, though. Be a politician and take advantage of the situation because that's what you are. Okay? In this scene, that uh, is my favorite scene, is uh, basically my uh, friend has just been assaulted by these women and I'm fighting not only for him, but for me to get inside the Parthenon. You're trembling. Are you nervous? No. Oh. Has the extravagant of women broken out into full fury with their banging tambourines and constant wailing for the Oriental gods? Uh, the audience is gonna laugh. They're gonna be confused. They're gonna, there's some people that's gonna be like, whoa, what's going on? And then there's some audiences that's gonna be like, okay, I was expecting this, but from the beginning, we're gonna let you know what kind of show it is. So if you don't have it in the beginning, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have it by the second scene. I take my exercise, I jump and I bump my butt. Excuse me, let me see what I have from here. <laughs> I really want our audience to know that if you're a woman, you're important. You have a voice. You can use your femi femininity to your advantage. You can take control of your body and be who you are and be strong in that. But I think if you're a man, it's just it's that lesson we want all men to hear, you know? Hey, listen to us. It's okay to listen to the women. You will superintend the treasure. You. Yes, we. And why should that strike you as funny when it's we who manage your houses and everything? Oh, and it's we who look after your money. Hmm? And just have a really good time and leave thinking, oh, that was a really fun show. I really want them to leave thinking that. What I want the people to get out of this documentary is that we have a nice program here. We have a great staff. We have a lot of people willing to learn pushing and driving, just trying to do their best at everything and every aspect in theater. And I want them to realize that we are really doing this and it's really we're really passionate about what we do and we love theater with everything we have. <laughs>